myself Satish Thalange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we are going to see the decision making under certainty. At the end of the session, the students is going to formulate the business problem or industry problem in the linear programming for the optimal assignment of the jobs or the resource. Along with that, this is going to determine the schedule of job assignment with the minimum cost or the time involved in the process and the maximum with the maximizing the profit or the sale of the assignment problem. Here, this problem consists of the four labors or you can say the four workers to whom the particular four jobs should be assigned. Here, the question is what? There is a decision making regarding that the particular A, B, C, D workers which job, job number 1, job number 2, job number 3 and job number 4 means for person or the worker A either the first job should be assigned or job 2 should be assigned or 3 or 4. Here the below there is a particular table which is defining the a minutes required by the particular worker to complete his respective job. For example, if I say if the worker A is assigned job number 1 means 45 minutes are required to complete the particular job 1 by the particular worker A and 40 minutes are required by the particular worker A to complete the job number 2 and 51 minutes are required to complete the particular job 3 by worker A. In this way, for each worker, each job, there is a payoff table which is defining the minutes required to complete the particular job by the each respective worker or the person. Now, as I've we have discussed in earlier session, further we have to confirm, the first step is what? To confirm whether the given problem or the given assignment problem is a balanced or unbalanced type of problem. Here the number of workers are 4 and the jobs are 4 means what 4 rows and 4 columns means a number of rows are equal to number of columns that's why the given assignment problem is a balanced type of problem means there is no need to convert the particular problem in the balanced type because already it is a balanced here, the, this particular problem, we are going to solve it with the Hangrian's assignment method. As per the Hangrian's assignment method, the first step is the row reduction. Here, in the original table, the first table, here, we have to select, in each row, we have to select the smallest element or you can say smallest value. In first, that is a worker A, that is 45, 40, 51 and 67, the smallest is 40. In second row or for worker B, out of 50, for, sorry, 57, 42, 63, 55, the smallest is 42. As I have hi highlighted or I have, have highlighted by the showing the arrows. In each row, we have shown it by the red color. The row reduction means yeah, we are, as we have selected 40, we have to separate it with the respective row to each payoff element. Which are one of the example I have shown here, yeah, 40 minus, sorry, 45 minus 40, 5, 40 minus 40, it will get 0, 51 minus 40, we will get 11, and 67 minus 40, 27. This has been done for the respective row, that is the first row. For the B, C, D, same way, 57 minus 42, 42 minus 42, 63 minus 42, 55 minus 42. In same way, we have to carry for the each rows. This is the obtained table after the row reduction. As per the rule, the Hangrian's method, there is at least one zero in each row. At least one zero. There may be more than one zero in each row, but there should be at least one zero in each row. Second step is what after getting the row reduction table, 
this is a row reduction table in that the second step we have to see the minimum value in each column that is of job 1 2 3 4 here out of, out of this first column 5 15 1 0 the minimum is 0 in second column 0 0 4 4 there is 0 is a minimum in third 11 21 0 and 19 the minimum is 0 and 27 13 16 14 there is minimum is 13 again similarly the selected minimum value should be subtracted with the each respective column elements after subtracting we will get the table this is a table which is showing the subtraction I have shown the fourth column because when I have seen the row reduced table in each column I have getting at least one zero when I subtract it with the each element of that respective row, the value will be same. But in the fourth column, there is no any zero. The minimum is certain. That's why the particular st in this table, I have shown the only calculation of the fourth table. That is 27 minus 13, 13 minus 13, 16 minus 13, 14 minus 13. This is the table finally after the column reduction. In this when we observe the row reduction and the column reduction here each row there is one zero in and in each column there is at least one zero here after this the particularly we have to draw the horizontal line and the vertical line as per the requirement and we have to bracket the zero the process is what we have to select the row first of all we will go with the row selection this is the table after the row and column reduction which is been shown in this table we have to carry out the step number three here in each row we are first we are solving it with the row here in each row we have to see first row is the a here only one zero is there so the rule is what select that row which is having only one zero now first of only we are getting zero that's why I will mark it by the bracket and I will hide it or I will particularly draw the vertical line as I shown here Similarly, after hiding this, there will be a reduction of the means reduction of the second column of that is job number for two. Only again we have to see the next step. Again, 15, 21, and 0 has been left. Here I have not considered this second job because already it has been hided here. Here there is 15, 21, 0. There is one again, one once more, there is a 0. Again, I will hide. Similarly, I will cover it by the vertical line as shown is here. After that, the second and the fourth job is been hired. Only first and third job are been non hided again I will start with the first 5 and 11 there is no any 0 15 and 21 there is no any 0 1 and 0 there is 0 at least in third row that is C worker again I will make a bracket 0 bracket bracket for that particular 0 again I will hide in this step 2 3 and 4 columns are been hired only one column is left that is the first when I start again with the first 5 15 1 0 at the last row there is zero I will again mark it by the bracket again I will hide the obtained table will be in such a fashion here the zero which has been marked by the prox are one two three four as per the Hungarian's rule when the zero which is marked by the box if it is equal to the n that is number of column or row then the optimum solution has been obtained when I compare this particular 
table with the original table here i have shown the original table for the first step we have considered for the first step in the first when we have started the problem i marked here i have highlighted first or original table here the zero box here the value is 40 in second row where the zero been marked by the box it is 55 similarly for the third and fourth here this values 40 41 and 48 and 55 these are the values means this table is saying what the particular worker a should be assigned job number two particular and worker b should be assigned job number four worker c the job number three should be assigned and worker d job number one should be assigned which is uh, again i have shown in the next table or slide this is a worker a b c d job uh, as i have told worker a is assigned here worker a is assigned job number two i have shown here worker a is assigned number job number two b four c three third one job and the d first job and the these are overall minutes required to complete the particular jobs here all the four jobs are being scheduled to each respective or you can all four jobs are being scheduled to each workers at a time we can assign only one job to one worker or one person which is been shown here also and the total minutes required is 184 this is the questions let us select the correct answer for for the particular questions hope so you have selected these answers for the today's session.